Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at 10 Easter eggs in multiverses. The newest platform fighter has been exploding lately, and I for one have become a huge fan of multiverses. I love this game, man. It's so awesome. I love the controls, I love the combat, I love the character roster, it's so great. And with all of these characters from film, television, and comics duking it out, there was bound to be an assortment of references to be made. Which of these easter eggs was your favorite? Were there any cool ones we might have missed? Share with us down in the comments below, and I will see you there. Also, tell me who your main is. I'm curious to see who's playing who lately. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long. So, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Batman v Superman, Dawn of a Better Story. Who invited the Boy Scout? Just from noticing how many DC characters there are on the initial roster, comic book fans are probably gushing about the possible references that could be made in future updates. For now though, let's focus on a basic rivalry between friends, Batman and Superman. Both characters have entrance lines and respawn lines that reference the past times they've fought. Sure you're not using kryptonite, most of them will joke about Batman using kryptonite to win, but the best of them is Batman's entrance when he says, You versus me again, Clark? Haven't we done this enough before? A mysterious power scan. The last thing we expected to come from multiverses is internet memes, more specifically, Dragon Ball memes. A mistake on our part, considering Shaggy can kick butt with his Ultra Instinct powers, which is canon by the way, thank you Matthew Lillard. When fighting against Shaggy, Batman will say the line, The power level my bat scanner is detecting. It's impossible. This is a reference to the famous over 9000 scene from Dragon Ball Z when Vegeta uses a scouter on Goku. The only thing that this moment is missing is the season's worth of broken scouters. It's over 9000! 9000?! There's no way that can be right! They go way back. Batman isn't the only one to spout a reference when facing Shaggy. When fighting the Dark Knight, Shaggy will freak out and say, Dude, Batman, we're friends, remember? And he's right. Batman has teamed up with Shaggy, Velma, and the rest of Mystery Inc. in a handful of shows, and just about every time, they involve some of the Caped Crusader's most notorious foes. That said, if you haven't seen the new Scooby-Doo movies, Scooby-Doo Team Up, Scooby-Doo and Guess Who, or the crossover Batman Brave and the Bold TV movie, well, you got some catching up to do. <sighs> Groovy. What's that in the background? Hey, that's not funny. Okay, last time we talk about Batman, sort of, but this is a big one, we couldn't ignore this. A couple of stages feature some homages to the IPs they're based on, and the Bat Computer is one of the big two. Look to the sides of the Bat Computer itself, and you'll see a T Rex statue and a giant penny. These two have long served as pieces of forgotten, yet completely ridiculous moments in Bat history. The villain known as the Penny Plunderer, and the time Batman journeyed to a place called Dinosaur Island. With only a few minor exceptions, neither have been more than set pieces across various iterations of the Batcave. But what's that? Does the computer tease a super obvious villain coming to multiverses in the future? Only time will tell. And hopefully he'll be played by Mark Hamill. Scooby's Haunted House of Infamy. For as much as some of us loathe Scooby's Haunted Mansion, seriously, this stage is awful. All the bouncing around and crap, my god, man. We'd still like to take a quick look at it for the Scooby fans. Some of the most notable pieces of this stage are the various crooked pictures on the wall above the fireplace, each one depicting some of Scooby's spookiest criminals, including Redbeard, Captain Cutler, and Mr. Hyde. Even the knights on the sides are modeled after the very first villain, the Black Knight. Speaking of villains, when charged, Velma's down special will have her call the cops and tell them one of her opponents is Old Man Jenkins, whose picture you'll see as the move happens. Remember what Jake said. You dudes are real dangerous when you want to be. 
This one is a bit more subtle than the rest, but hardcore Adventure Time fans probably got the joke quick. In the episode Burning Low, Jake gives Finn a brief lecture about the many tiers in dating. While Jake briefly touches upon the first few tiers, things take an unexpected turn, and an alarming one, when Finn asks about Tier 15. What about Tier 15? Stay away from that! Do not do Tier 15! It just so happens that Tier 15 of the Battle Pass in Multiverses is a free reward for Pajama Finn and a premium reward for Jake, giving us the ability to play as Cake. You know this was done on purpose. Where have I felt that sweep before? Multiverses features a wealth of clever touches to the various Warner Brothers characters, and developer player first games are clearly fans of the many properties we've seen so far. DC characters are no exception either, and Wonder Woman has one of the best references incorporated into her moveset. If her regular side combo looks familiar, you might recall an eerily similar combo in the 2017 Wonder Woman movie. It's not a 100% accurate replication, but it's enough to call it an easter egg in our book. Praising Harley can keep up with me, sugar. Harley received the same amount of love and care in her moveset, and as creative as her animations can get, that's not why she's here. No, Harley has clearly been playing a ton of video games, and one specific community of gamers know what we're talking about. Harley's default taunt shows her praising the sun, much like many players have in the Dark Souls games. Really, it's the perfect way to celebrate smacking somebody into the ceiling. Especially given her combo potential, it's pretty insane. I love it. She's one of the most fun characters in my opinion. The best line spoken by Tom. Tom and Jerry have not been tunes of many words, but there is one noise Tom makes that turns everything into a joke. Every once in a while when Tom is KO'd, you'll hear him make his familiar throat shattering scream. This is the same exact scream that has been used across the cartoons, movies, and yes, video games. Oh, and if you launch Jerry off of the stage, you will hear a very small falling noise. Feel guilty, man. A giant move set of references. Honestly, the Iron Giant is the best character in the game in terms of how much passion went into his animations and his moveset. Just about every move in the Iron Giant's arsenal is a reference to the movie in some way. His down special has him doing a cannonball onto the stage, like in the scene where Hogarth swims in the lake. His up special sees him spinning a junk car around, much like when he's letting Hogarth pretend to be a spaceman. And the obvious one, his Protect Friends mode, allows you to unleash his War Machine powers and decimate opponents with a volley of projectiles. Your ally can even pilot a turret inside too! And just to wrap it all up in a pretty metallic bow, his up air regular attack lets him uppercut opponents while striking a pose like Superman. Remember folks, you are who you choose to be, and in this case, the Iron Giant isn't a broken character for trolls and lulls. He is... Superman. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.